Where'd Ed go? <sighs> I need to call him. Anyone seen a short and blonde guy? Who you call so short that would tell the difference between him and an ant? Yay, we did it. We did it. <laughs> yep. Welcome Thanks back to. Thanks for doing Pointtown. We were playing what as Gladiators. This? I can't freaking art write. Um, what are you saying? What? Basically, me and Psycho, Edwin, and Gladian in Pointtown. Uh, that moment was also inspired by um, an Undertale comic uh, where Papyrus um, was calling Sans, and I was like, hey, why not <laughs> Why not put a little twist on that? <laughs> what are you doing? When was that? Huh? Uh, when was that? I don't know. I, I, remember, I remember me saying it, but I don't know. I think I was just saying like how funny Roy's name is. <laughs> like I think I also saw some lost possibly and I remember he said, Do it! Do it! <laughs> Google Plus, what happened to you? It said that's why. No, that's only your computer. Ha, sure. I had an existential crisis while roller skating. What happened? I don't know and I don't want to remember. <laughs> This one, it's um, more or less actions, there's no words in it. Basically, um, like, I only saw, like, the power of like, his face. She had a completely emotionless place. Like, she just looked so bland. And she was hitting her hand to her, hitting her fist to her hand. It sounded and looked so wrong to me, I couldn't stop laughing. Boy. <laughs> Everything lands on it, breaks instantly. That was, um... So my dad completely removed the um my dad completely removed like the soft part that's on like the this mattress thing. So whenever I tried to lay down so whenever I tried to lay down my back would just clap. Right, the next quotes are from a means that girl were like reading, like um the book I just wanna kiss, the Valentine's edition. Yeah, um <laughs> Which in the moment of the book Sonic is being um, overprotected, protected, you know the word, and this was Psycho's end. <laughs> what, you thought Shadow was going to rape Knuckles or something? I mean, there was a fanfic where he does that, but not, not, not the one I made. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, <clears throat> help me, I'm laughing my butt off. What? Oh yeah, Psycho re read this wrong, I'm like, what? Basically, I said, grab him, there's only an off there. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> corrupted knuckles. But basically, because um, I spelled knuckles wrong, and so I went, you know, like spelling. And then all of a sudden, that's what it gave me as a result. And I'm like, what is that? It, ba it, ba it basically. Is that even a word? It basically said K C N U space E S L. That's that's totally how you spell knuckles. <laughs> yeah, it means I can just start laughing. <laughs> I can just imagine bolt. I can just imagine a bolt crashing onto the table, and then suddenly ice cream. Uh, Have a great Violent Times day. day. Violent Times Day. That's that's great. <laughs> I spelled Valentine's Day wrong, so that's what I got. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was about to draw Gladiator, but then I draw something else. Yeah. <laughs> I, be I believe yeah, I you drew know. Broken Hearted. No, I was I was drawing Insania and Samina, but the picture was turning out horribly, so I had to delete it. Oh, okay. Image Gladiator in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I remember that. <laughs> I'm like, actually, serious. Google images Gladian, and that's what it's like Gladian. I'm like, ah. <laughs> okay, so I have this. Uh, where'd the fan go? I don't remember where the fan went, but um, I have this tiny little fan that looks like a milk jug. So whenever it turns on, it has this whirring sound. Um, and yeah, <laughs> is it because it sounds like a vibrator? <laughs> but I didn't hear what she said. I was still laughing, and then, I kept, and then for some reason, I kept laughing, and I would not stop, and I'm like, I think my sanity dropped or something. 
Because <laughs> I, cause I was like, are you laughing insanely or are you actually laughing? Oh, so I don't know why I was laughing. This guy makes me laugh. I'm, I'm blaming him for now. What? Blame Matt Pat. The fan! It's always the fan! Not the fan. See, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that topic. Um. It barely cycles, maybe not senior. Okay. <laughs> okay, you want to make that quote in itself? Uh, later. <laughs> you won't remember later. Shush, I will. Psycho, are you having a fucking seizure? Maybe. What? Wait, what did I do? What? I don't know. Something about me going crazy, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you know I subscribe to that ASMR girl, right? But my brother was in the bathroom, and I didn't know when he would come out, so... So, the ASMR girl made a new video, and I, and I was staring at it like, I did not think this through. <laughs> My mom calls okay. me crazy. But your name is Psycho. <laughs> That's literally what my mom and dad say sometimes when I'm talking to Sonia. It's like, are you insane? Are you crazy? And I'm like, no. I mean, with how much time you're spending with me, you might as well be called crazy. Maybe. <laughs> okay, what? Oh, okay. I wonder what kind of library they were at. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, this was when we were writing the legendary book, um, and we were basically doing something with, uh, we were basically doing, um, I guess, um, a bio template for our personas Insomnia and Insania, so oh, this is what I was basically, uh, this is what I was basically typing down whenever something edgy popped up. You feel your edginess crawl up your spine. <laughs> Reference to Undertale. And then there's another quote. <laughs> I don't trust it. <laughs> so what the plant and So so what happened is that uh, uh I believe um during one of the bio uh, parts with Insomnina, something about distrust popped up and then we decided to do this um she doesn't trust anything other than Insania, so whatever she- so we just thought of this funny thing that she looks to a plant and then she says I don't trust it. <laughs> Explaining jokes doesn't make them funnier. Anyways. No. no, it doesn't. Um, it was a pretty windy day today, so I guess you could call- I say- I guess you could say it's a wind day. Oh, kill me now! It was a Wednesday, and it was Wendy. <laughs> okay, and then I saw, I was making a reference to Edward, but then Psycho said that. I guess shrimps are the, the only thing in the sea. I am a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What the fuck was that? Don't worry, Sonia. There are only our little pawns in this chess game. It will soon fall to our knees. <laughs> um, no, so his parents die. He has a demon inside him. The whole village hates him. Edward Elric, his mother died. His father left him. He lost an arm and a leg. He lost his brother's whole body. So, Phantomive, his parents burned to ashes, his manor burnt down, he was taken to an occult that killed children, and he sold the soul to a demon. Sounds like Glimmer. She lost a friend. That's a, a great way to freaking turn evil. He almost got killed. His last one passed with Itachi. Itachi. Katashi. Kata I forgot how to say his name for Kakashi. Kakashi! Was to protect someone he had a crush on, Ren. Obito survived and was rescued by Mago Yoshia and he ran away for and he was away from society for months. Before he gets to the village, he walks in on Kakashi killing Ren. Kakashi broke the wall promise he gave to his dying friend. Obito became a villain after. Starlight Glimmer becomes a villain because she lost a friend who got his butt tattoo. <laughs> yeah, we were basically- Wow, that's- that's why you want a world domination Starlight Glimmer? So, uh, we were basically comparing to- uh, we were basically comparing Starlight Glimmer, who basically had a ridiculous motive, to characters that actually did have good motives. 
to become villains. I mean, Ezra and Naruto are not villains. They're good guys, but yeah. like, Obito, um, kills a lot of people. And CL's kind of like an anti, like, I guess anti-hero, kind of. Sonia is- Sonia, why is there another and? Sonia believes the other and. What other and? Okay. Uh, I think we were typing something in the legendary book and that's what- that's what had happened. Yeah. And it's been- oh wait, no. Oh! <laughs> I know, I was telling- Bless you, Mom. Uh, huh? My mom was, um... Uh, coughing uh, or sneezing in the background. So basically, I was telling Bridget my new ship, and I was telling that her their ages. <laughs> Ed is fifteen, Roy is thirty. You want me, Bridget? Sure. What? <laughs> Do it, me. Kill me. Set the creepy warrior crew in twenty seventeen. Um. Also, uh, sorry, I'm going in the video right now. Two part three!